Hello friends, this is Worm, and today I wanted to talk about the newest uh, change to the seasonal model, which Bungie is actually moving away from the whole seasonal model and moving into this episodes, uh, as they're calling it, model for Destiny 2. Of course, this comes after players had been complaining about the seasonal model getting stale and getting boring uh, after having it for so many years since 2019 uh, Shadowkeep. All that time ago, we've had this, this seasonal model. And before we had the seasonal model, we had, of course, DLCs. You know, we had uh, back in Destiny 1, we had, you know, Destiny 1's been to the launch. We had uh, The Dark Below. We had, uh, oh, House of Wolves. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, House of Wolves. I can't remember <laughs> the name of uh, the name of the second Destiny 2 Destiny, but it came with Prison of Elders, Killed Skull Law, stuff like that. Then, of course, we had Taken King. Uh, and after Taken King came some other DLCs, uh, which came about every three months or so. And then we got to Shadowkeep and Bungie said, hey, we're going to change it up. We're going to add a seasonal model. And this is at the time when seasonal models were a big deal. You know, battle passes were showing up in games like Call of Duty and Fortnite and stuff like that. And Bungie wanted to kind of follow suit with this idea. And it was really refreshing at the time in 2019. Like it was awesome to do that. In fact, in 2019, uh, they added the battle pass and I at that time was not super invested in Destiny 2. It was still a, a, at a period of, you know, the launch of D2 and how bad it was and whatnot. But I was like, okay, like I still played the game, but just not as much. Didn't even re re uh, reach rank 100, sorry, for that first season. But it was a refreshing take on the game. And for a long time, it felt really good. But as time goes on, as all, as the way with all things work, it got stale, it got boring, and really the problems with the seasonal model started to point out. One of the biggest problems being that towards typically like the latter half the season, maybe even a little bit more than half the season, there just wasn't really much to do. And the reason why is because with seasonal models, Bungie set it up so that everything is really heavy right there at the front. You know, you get access to your season pass. It takes, you know, a player who plays an ungodly amount of Destiny like myself, probably about three weeks or so to get to rank 100, you know, and, and I'm not even the fastest. Like I know they're hitting people hitting rank 100, you know, week one, week two without buying anything, you know, without buying season uh, or I'm sorry, ranks in the season pass and stuff. But there it was a very front loaded you know we had that we had story content but the story content was typically only eight to ten weeks into the season and and when you have a season that lasts uh was it like 12 weeks again it leads to that you know the end of the season being boring not only that but the seasonal models story building like the way that they built the story was incredibly boring it typically consisted of hey here's new activity go do new activity go to the helm talk to somebody then go do this other activity then go to the helm and talk to somebody and then go do some final little mission that's also related to the seasonal activity and then that's your weekly quest like there wasn't storytelling like we get with expansions and that's okay to a degree i mean i'm not expecting like a full storyline you know with with custom missions every single season i think that would be a, an incredible amount to ask for from Bungie with cutscenes and stuff. But we did get some cutscenes with that, but still it just, it felt very unengaging. It was like, okay, I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna go do my activities, go talk to this person, go to my activity, go talk to this person, blah, blah, blah. And it got boring and it got stale. And of course, like we said, after, you know, eight weeks, I think typically it's about eight weeks. Maybe it was even six for some, for some seasons, you know, after six to eight weeks, just there was no more storyline. The story was over until the last week of the expansion then you came back for one final like sending off mission so to speak uh, and that was a big problem with the seasonal model and that's what led people to say hey this is really boring this is really stale and so they've decided to change it to this episodes model and with episodes we still have of course the the, the season pass you know the the battle pass so to speak where you rank up and you get rewards from it but this time what they're doing with these episodes is they're breaking them up into three different acts Right. So today, June 11th is, episode, uh, you know, Echoes Act One is starting. OK, that's the name of the first episode of Echoes. So Echoes is starting today. And then in a couple weeks, in like six weeks or so, Echoes Act Two will drop. And then a couple weeks after that, I think, you know, uh, 12 weeks after today, then they'll drop Act Three. You know, and what Bungie has basically talked about with this new episode model is that every time a new act drops, we're going to be getting a, you know, a, a 
juicy, a relatively juicy insertion into the storyline about what's going on, because that's one of the biggest complaints was the storyline was boring. So what I'm thinking is, you know, with episodes act one, for example, we're going to probably get four weeks of storytelling and, and building up to something. Then two weeks are going to go by. And there's probably going to be a pretty light two weeks, but then act two is going to hit. And when act two hits, we're going to be get another big dump to the storyline. Like, Hey, like, you know, then this power player shows up or something like that. And we're going to have some you know, some missions and stuff to go in here and do whatever, blah, blah, for four weeks. And then for the next two, going to be kind of light. And then act three is going to hit. And this is meant to basically break up the monotony of, Hey, go do this boring mission one week, you know, this boring, or not even a mission. It's a quest line. It's a quest line is a better way to put it. Go do this boring quest line. Right. And then, you know, for the week and then you're done do that for six weeks, eight weeks, whatever. And then you finish the entire seasonal story. And uh, the new episode model, like removing that, it does like, it feels like it's going to be good. And of course we haven't had our first episode. We haven't completed it. We don't know how it's going to pan out. Like could Bungie very well have just a basic boarding system of, Hey, like, you know, episodes started for the next four weeks. You're going to do this, uh, this new event. Then you're going to go talk to somebody and you go back to a different event and you go talk to somebody like, yeah, like it's possible. But I'm hoping that Bungie does like has more storytelling involved. And based on the Vidoc that they did yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, uh, the Vidoc is looking pretty good in terms of, you know, it's going to tell more of a story and telling more of a story is a key point here. Uh, of course, still have the battle pass and stuff. But after that first, uh, you know, ranks one or uh, one through 100, that's act one. Act two is going to release 50 more ranks. Act three is going to release 50 more ranks. So it feels like what Bungie has designed this episode model to do is feel more engaging and feel like there's more stuff to do so that, you know, players aren't falling off towards the latter half of the season. So the players are, you know, they're engaging. And then finally, when things start to taper down, get boring, boom, they insert another bout of content, right? whatever it might be more story more exotics which we know later on uh, during this episode we are going to get at least one more exotic uh hopefully I, I think it'd be great to see two you know one per each act or i guess three new exotics one per each act you know but you know act one you get the seasonal exotic act two you get a new uh, quest exotic act three you get a new quest exotic something like that would be really nice um but it keeps players more engaged and this is something that i'm very much looking forward to like even if the storytelling isn't necessarily the best like i'm not looking for lightfall i'm sorry not lightfall uh, i'm not looking for final shape level storytelling like final shape was designed differently it was meant to be a send off to the light and darkness saga it should have been a major major story addition there should have been some incredible cut well there were incredible cutscenes. like i don't expect anything like the final shape level storytelling but I think that we're going to get more storytelling than we had been with the, uh, you know, the, the seasonal model, but uh, outside of that, I mean, it's looking pretty good. I'm just really hoping it pans out the way that we're, we're, we're going for. So again, you know, episodes versus seasons, it's going to be, and a lot of people are comparing episodes. It's just a, it's just a glorified seasonal model. And I would say, no, it's not a glorified seasonal model. Like, well, like I think when people say it's a glorified seasonal model, they're literally looking at the season pass, like the actual season rank. And they're seeing that, oh, it goes ranked through one through 200 now. So there's one through 100. Like there's more to it, you know? The difference, one of the biggest differences is halfway through the season on a seasonal model, you were, you were done, you were done. With this new episode model, you're not done halfway through. You might, we might be done halfway through an episode, like three weeks in, it's like, okay, we're done. But then next three weeks later, we're getting another boom, smack of content. And then, you know, another three weeks later, we're, we're dealing in content, having fun, stuff like that. And then three weeks of, of boringness and then boom, another, another drop, something like that. So I'm looking forward to the episode model, but I want to hear your thoughts on the episode model. Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? What are some of the things you're excited about? What are some of the things you're nervous about? Just tell me all that stuff in the comments below course do me a favor drop a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more daily destiny content and uh, do me another favor watch the videos you see on the end screen here because for whatever reason youtube thinks you'll like them guys we'll see you on the next one bye for now